My name is Jan Regan. I live in Broomfield, Colorado, which is outside of Boulder, Colorado. The title of the piece behind me is Shelter. As you can see, we have a young boy who is feeling pretty alone, pretty into himself, if you would. And then on top of it, you have an adult protective male figure providing, as I say, shelter. The idea from this came from that very idea that at one time or another, all of us really do feel alone in the world. And whether we're a child or sometimes as an adult, all of the stuff happens. And so it was a feeling that I had at one particular time. I was inspired to do this piece from it. So I first imagined the child and I hired a live model. I work with live models pretty much exclusively. And so I had the boy kind of capture that pose of being totally alone. And so for him, then I, I did measurements, worked with him in the studio to sculpt his particular physical form. Then I went searching for the male model, which took me an incredibly long period of time to do. And in working with a model, I'm trying to, or what actually happens in the process, it becomes a co-collaboration. And that is, I have this idea that I'm looking to express, one of protection, one of strength, ones of caring. And so I work with that person to try to capture the embodiment or embody that particular place that it that it comes from. And when you hit that particular, it just, it resonates. And you can tell that when you're working with someone, it goes well beyond what I may be conceiving of in my own head. Find the pieces that resonate with you and bring them into your life because they inspire us. You want to have stuff around you that that can say something to you, and hopefully something different every time you look at it. And I would just encourage people to do it. It's one of the, the beautiful things about humanity. It's one of the more wonderful things that we do in the world. Art, music, you know, enjoying other people.
The making of a bronze sculpture really starts with an idea, and from that idea you capture that in clay. The particular form that I use is with a plastiline clay built around an armature. From there you go through a very simple 27 step process to wind up with the finished piece that you see behind you. It involves multiple artisanal trades and capacities, artistic talents from a lot of different people to make one of these things work. It goes from actually making the sculpture itself to making a mold of it, doing a wax intermediary, making a uh, ceramic mold of that, replacing the wax with molten metal, welding all the pieces back together because the largest piece of bronze you can actually cast is about 27 inches. Once you've done that, now you have to remove all of the weld marks, put back in all of the tool marks and the texture and the thumbprints and everything else that you made with your original sculpture. Then you heat it up, you treat it with certain chemicals in order to get the coloration that you want, which is called patinization. From there, you more or less have a finished sculpture once you put it on a base. And so it's a fun little process.